Vai? Okay. We can't see. We go. Oh dear. There was a crime epidemic in Pavlova in October 2013. I wonder what is the latest news. In, in 2013, Pavlova, a small East European country, is seeking EU membership to bring economic development to the country. Like other East European countries, Pavlova is trying hard to be admitted despite a crime epidemic. Oh dear. Pavlova has been long rejected by the EU because of reports of overwhelming violent crime and corruption. Over 10% of the population is in prison with uncontrollable gang and sexual hardship and almost no humanitarian standards. Oh dear, dear. Oh, Alfred, hooray. The news today is terrible. But such a joy to see you and to have my sons and visit here in Pavlova. Your brother Robert will be here soon. Your mother and I are spending time here after our years with the UN in Geneva. Lovely to see you, Dan. How are you feeling? Oh, with the Pavlova crime news, terrible, but uh, at 82, <laughs> I'm a bit for, for, thoughtful. I, re I remember well what happened 20 years ago, but can't remember where I put my glasses 20 minutes ago. That seems to be a bit awkward. <laughs> the understatement of the year. I'm like an absent-minded man who went to see a psychiatrist. My trouble is, I said that I keep forgetting things. How long has this been going on? Asked the psychiatrist. Uh, how long has it been going on? Uh, said the man. That's me, but I can't still laugh at myself. Perhaps Dr. Alzheimer is calling, but I'm too busy and, and, and so happy. <laughs> happy without memory. Seems a bit strange, Dad. Yes, Alfred. You see, I only remember the good things. All the bad things are just forgotten. It's great. Well, now, I am not sure. I thought of it that way before. Yes, but now in Pavlova I have three problems. If I can still remember them. Uh, one, memory, two, Pavlova Business School, and three, the Pavlovian crime epidemic in, in, in Pavlova. I, I am a good friend to President Polzer, but what about you? What, what, what's it like as a professor of neurology at, at Chicago University? A joy for me, Dad, at, at Chicago. We all work about 80 hours a week and travel the world teaching, researching, and publishing research reports. Alas, nothing much to do with crime. I read somewhere uh, that something like 40% of published research reports get, get uh, disproved by further research. Uh, published two years later? Yes. Even scientific proofs changes regularly every, every two or three years. Sometimes we are wrong. But it's not criminal, just too careless to be published quickly. We have to deal with it. Tomorrow I'll give a presentation at New Neurology Management at Pavlova Medical Association. Then I am free and need a break from research. I am so happy to be with the family and with no work to do, except, of course, my portable telephone that rings incessantly, but gives me the illusion of feeling important. Now, Dad, where is our busy mother? Is she still saving the world from overpopulation with the WHO? <laughs> Yes, still saving the world. She, she, she's due back, if I can remember. Um, uh, any moment now, uh, for, from that Geneva visit, I, I'm waiting for her call. I, I don't use my portable phone much as, as, I, as I don't want to be woken up from my dreams 20 times a day. But I think children with, with portables average 50 calls a day. Perhaps it makes them feel important. Mm -hmm. Hooray. Please, may I ask you, why do you choose to leave wonderful Geneva for Pavlova? You were both so happy retired in Geneva without problems, and now you have the three great problems in Pavlova. Now, what are they? Do you remember? Well, it is 
a long story, but before medicine, I was trained at Chicago to teach and uh, set up new business schools. Then I worked for the UN, uh, based in Geneva, but now on retirement, I cannot resist the temptation. <laughs> Whiskey or sex? Very dangerous at your age, at 82, Dad. No, not that. Just the temptation to help to set up uh, one more business school in Pavlova, despite the current crime epidemic. Crime epidemic? Yes, the European community refuses to admit Pavlova because of the current crime epidemic. About 10% of the population is in prison. Seems impossible to me. Yes, with failing economy too. But my new business school will hopefully begin soon and, and, and funding from our good Pavlovian friends, the Polatas, uh, and, and, and support of the Pavlovian government, the Polza, so I can't, re I can't resist the temptation to make it a go. And who is the Polza? Polza is President Polza of Pavlova, who wants to get Pavlova into the EU. He strongly supports the need for an ethic business school here to influence the cutbacks on the crime and, and, and corruption. I see him often and he keeps me informed of the Pavlovian political business and culture environment and, and the challenge in, in the lovely country of epidemic crime and corruption. Impossible, of course, but that's the way it motivates me. I don't know, but Pavlova must be a strange place. It should be so interesting for me to meet your friend, the president. Yes, but we also have a sad moment, a, a crime problem. The Polatas' son, Timo, or our friend, the, the Polatas, has just been sentenced to 10 years in prison for financial fraud. He says it's a political manipulation, but now, with, with stress, his mother has, has breast cancer, so this is my fourth problem. How to get him out? What a tragedy. Sad indeed. Need to do something about it, somehow. Well, we are all doctors in this family. Alfred, perhaps we need a medical solution here. Only a list of unethical things with, with business should not do unless they really have to. It's illegal. Sorry, I've, I've, I've jumped, I jumped to your, I went straight to your bit, sorry. Uh, nothing, so you go from, <coughs> from ethical business, Alfred, I jumped to your line, sorry. Really, Dad? First, let me ask you a question. Are there really no ethics in business here? Only a list of unethical things which businessmen should not do, unless they really have to. Is it, is it legal? Nothing is illegal. If a hundred well-placed businessmen decide to do it... Oh? No? Well, your very ethical French mother will not be pleased, but alas, business has no ethics. You see, nobody sympathises with a failed business. The key management skill is business is not ethics, but survival. First personal survival and then business survival. Makes me feel sad, very sad about business. Yes, so you, so you are better off in medicine and healthcare. Until, of course, uh, Either lawyers give you a hard time for a mistake, they will call it uh, uh, deliberate uh, malpractice and, and pursue the, the patients to sue you for compensation in millions with huge fees for them. They tempt people with the plan. We sue for you and if we don't win, no fee, no pay. This is a bit hard to resist. Not very ethical, but I would call it irresistible. But not yet relevant in my case, yet. But who knows for the future? Meanwhile, all of the, your poor sons have had to do medicine, but I am so happy with the research at the Chicago University, even better than the computer games. Yes, indeed. Now, younger brother Robert is also here for a visit, so we shall all be together. He is in London training in general medical practice. He is very uh, sceptical about medicine and, and, and everything. He is still not sure where to go next and what to do with his life just now. He is here in Pavlova for a few days, uh, researching Pavlovan healthcare and even thinking of doing uh, a possible MBA with me in, in my new school. He thinks he might even enjoy a bit of crime and corruption. <laughs> 
I wonder if you feel just a bit guilty, Dad. You even encouraged our mother to give up sociology and do medicine with you. She may have, forg she may have forgiven you by now. Yes, she's due back now from Geneva and should be here any moment. Bill rings, we say goodbye. Welcome home, my love. Did all go well with the WHO in Zurich? Have you saved the world from overpopulation? Geneva, not Zurich. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Dr. Alzheimer calling again. WHO Geneva went very well indeed. So Alfred and Robert are here for a few days. Hooray! I'm so happy to see them. But right now it has just happened. Damn it! Just your thing, George. Crime and corruption. Oh dear. What has happened? Mother, something went wrong? At the airport. I was just ringing you to say I had arrived back safely. I put down my bag to take the phone. I put my bag on the floor. A very nice young guy came up and asked me the time. I stopped to show him my watch. I am a bit short-sighted. And what did he do? He picked my bag and ran off. Oh, crime in this country is terrible. Was he an Olympic runner, Mother? <laughs> did you run after him screaming, Stop thief in Pavlovian! <laughs> no, my Pavlovian is not yet good enough. At 63, I have climbed Kilimanjaro for five days, but I can't catch a high-speed young man at the airport. So I explain my problem to the taxi driver who is now outside waiting to be paid. Uh, please. I'll do it. Right away, Mother. Oh, thank you, dear. I need a rest. Well, as you have no bag now, uh, so you have no unpacking to do, oh, that's lucky. Lucky, George? I lost my bag. Oh, your English humour, George, is not appreciated here. Oh, with my French culture, I cannot laugh at your humour. It is just so sarcastic for me. Oh, sorry, sorry, dear. Uh, please sit down and have a nice cup of English tea, dear. <laughs> my best medication for every health anxiety problem, except perhaps gin and tonic. Now, <laughs> where did I put the tea? Uh, oh, yes, uh, uh, over there. <laughs> so sorry, Mother. Are you feeling bad now? Touch for you, tough for you in Pavlova. Must be so nerve-wracking. But you were lucky there was no physical attack. I just heard the, the sad prison news of Timo, the son of the Pavlovian friends, the Polatas. Yes, you know. I begin to believe it is so sad indeed. Crime epidemic is like a sickness, which I think needs to be treated. Oh, but meanwhile, we have to survive somehow. Sorry not to be there, my love, to fight off that guy and defend you with, with, with both feet. My left aunt doesn't work too well. <laughs> Nor the right one either, George. <laughs> too true, yes. And falling apart. Bits falling off, but trying hard to still be useful. I think something must be done about crime here in Pavlova. My project for a new business school is almost impossible without control of violent crime. But of course, I don't get too excited about peanut corruption with, with a discreet reward under the table to be sure official paperwork gets processed in time. Oh, and here is the news. Pavlova has been reje rejected again by the e EU because of reports of overwhelming, overwhelming violent crime and corruption. President Pulser is trying again. In Pavlova, over 10% of the population is in prison with uncontrollable gang and sexual hardship and almost no humanitarian standards. Not yet fit to be an EU member. Crime epidemic. Can it really be true, Dad? In 2013? Yes. Polsa, the president, will be so upset. For real economic development, Pavlova has, to, has got to get into the EU. Crime control is top ethical priority, political, economic, and, and even a church. I think so too. One of the few things George and I can agree on after 30 years of marriage. Thank you, my dear. We know crime quite well. <laughs> we were mugged in, in, uh, in Baltimore. It was, it was a hit on the head. I was hit on the head. Your mother was dragged away five yards, but was so uh, overweight. 
<laughs> oh, wait in those days that the Magus gave up and ran away. Oh, George, please. Your terrible memory is sometimes too good. Mm. I shall have to have a word with Dr. Alzheimer. Oh, sorry, dear. Yes, and it's uh, only 20 years ago. So I remember it well. I was taken to our own hospital emergency room, uh, covered in blood. They asked, Dr. Boland, what are you doing here? So I replied, just testing the service. <laughs> they all laughed, but I think I recovered. But seriously, I feel so strongly about ethics and crime. Our Pilatus friends not only have the tragedy of Timu, but they were also burgled last month while last month while away on vacation, despite a hugely expensive electronic burglar alarm system. Yes, in Pavlova, house burglary is very amusing. Uh, but I dare not, not laugh if they steal my passport again. The house burglars are efficient. They know when an alarm goes off, it takes 10 minutes for the police to come, so they always complete their burglary in just five minutes and almost never get caught and sent to prison. Oh, news again! The prison experience seems to motivate more crime than pre prevent it. So many released prisoners are back inside within a year. President Pulser says that great efforts for crime prevention and control are made by the police, Christian and feudal religions, probation officials, education, social service, social service, internet, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Are Pavlonian prisons becoming excellent training centers to encourage more rather than less crime? In Pavlova, crime prevent preventation and control efforts all seem to fail. Can President Polzer do anything about it? Perhaps the crime epidemic is due to a Pavlova poverty and culture needs some research. Needs ethical business management. I uh, agree. We need our business school supported by the government, uh, Polza, <coughs> and our wealthy friends in, in, in the Pilates. It's almost ready to begin. So Pavlova has hope that with your ethical business school, crime will go down? Seems a bit optimistic to me, Dad. We need some rigorous research on crime control. Yes, in Pavlova and the US too. So many people are trying. Yes, George. And with your business school project, supported by Polsa and the Pulatas, you're a bit trying too. But I do my best not to notice it. <laughs> Thank you, dear. So perhaps Pavlova may never get into the EU. Well, George, may I dare to suggest that we should forget Polsa and your business school plan and move back to Geneva? Not yet, please. We are insured for your bag. We are insured for your bag theft. Well, maybe our insurance only. <coughs> Not again. Memory. It is terrible. But with uh, your bag, it was not a, a, a violent crime. It didn't beat you up. Uh, thank goodness. So let's think about it. After all, we also we also got burglar uh, as uh, an ex. Xmas uh, presence in, in Geneva last year, and yet we recovered more or less. So now in Pavlova, something must be done about the crime epidemic. Uh, well, what to do? Uh, I have great enthusiasm for new challenge. Dan, we need economic development to control and stop crime. Have, have to accept it, Dad. With poverty, perhaps it can't be done. Oh, look, more news. This epidemic crime crisis has severe negative effects on family, business, politics and economic development. Hence the, the urgent need for President Pavlova to find a new solution. Only hope is to change the Pavlova culture, such that, cr such that criminal minds become against further crime. The government seeks help, but the EU declines to get involved. There you are. The government wants a solution. Electronics are so powerful, but home burglar alarms don't succeed. Now be reasonable, George. Surely our family team of doctors can come up with a creative medical electronic solution to the Pavlova crime epidemic, especially with the chief Chicago professor of neurology in the team. 
<laughs> Why not a sort of EBS, electronic brain stimulation against crime? <laughs> Why not? I must go and see Polzer to get the government's reaction. We need a creative solution. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, George, but with great age your memory is getting worse. We need to change to an ethical business in Pavlova. Can we change your brain too, George? <laughs> not today, please. I'm very doubtful about EBS, but I could mention the potential for a medical electronic crime control in my Pavlova medical presentation tomorrow. But you know, EBS has been researched for so many years with poor progress. Despite brain, deep brain stimulation studies at Oxford and Cambridge universities, with only limited positive results. But perhaps there's a need now for a new creative solution. New creative solution? Let me test your cre creativity, Alfred. Ready? Mm -hmm. No, no. But oh well. Yes, dear. Here it is. My creativity test. The bath is full of water. Now choose. Will you empty it with a bucket, a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Oh dear. Do I have to decide now? Mm, yes. A, a bucket, of course. No problem. And you, George? A bucket, of course. Of course. What's the answer, please? <laughs> Why are you laughing, Eliza? Mm, for creativity. Always look for another alternative. None of those. Just take out the bath plug. <laughs> oh dear, thank you, Eliza. Be careful. You are beginning to be... Uh, you begin to qualify for English control. Perhaps, Alfred, we can both try to see Polza tomorrow uh, to get the Pavlovian government's reaction. Will you remember to do it, George? Yes, dear. So kind of you to see us, President Polza. Welcome, George and Alfred. My pleasure to see you both. How are you? How are the plans for our Pavlova Business School going? Uh, the school? Oh, yes, uh, very well. We hope to open the first MBA program soon. Excellent. My hope is that it will help me with ethical business management, the crime epidemic and our efforts for admission to the EU. That is what we want to talk about today. The government seeks new solutions for crime control. Yes, indeed. I'm trying so hard. We think we have an idea which may interest you. Excellent. What do you suggest? Research. A medical solution, Polza. Medical? Is that possible? Medications. A new drug. A new all-powerful anti-crime virus medication. No, 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 no pills. We, we suggest research into EBS, electronic brain stimulation, to take away the motivation for crime. Your, your reactions? Brain stimulation. Oh dear. No, no, no. The political leaders in Pavlova would never agree to that. Why not? No, no, no. In Pavlova, we never interfere with the brain. It might do terrible harm uh, and even change the politics. Prison is very tough punishment, but necessary to deter crime punishment not treatment. Brain changed not in our constitution, not democratic, against United Nations human rights, rights is inhuman. Your prisons are a bit uh, inhuman too, Yes, but we keep that very secret. We don't want to offend the EU and, and, and affect uh, our, admi our admission. Yes, but we don't publish it. With EBS, you could release prisoners back safely into society and save so much cash. What, what, what would business think? <laughs> Safe cash sounds good. Appeals to me. Release prisoners, oh no. Business would be scared of EBS. No, 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 no ethical in business to risk brain damage. High insurance costs and claims, too difficult to manage. 
might lead to even more serious crime and corruption, might motivate new investigation into tax evasion, might affect sales and profit. No, 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 not acceptable. But could I possibly suggest that the Pavlovian church would find it so much more humane and react well to EBS? Maybe. But I think the church would say no. No, 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 no. We dare not to change the brain. Only God can do that. Prayer is the answer to crime. Punishment may be needed and God will decide it. That's a bit disappointing, Polza. EBS might even change healthcare for the better in the future. It would really take too long to prove it. I am so sorry, George. We have our common <clears throat> values. The Pavlova culture could never accept your EBS solution to the crime epidemic. We have got to find another way to resolve, resolve it and get into the European Union. Please. Well, well many thanks uh, for taking the time to meet us. Uh, your time is always so much appreciated. We hope for Pavlova's EBS research project and <coughs> we're going to use uh, our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try and motivate some funding. Cash is always welcome. It is always a great motivator. New funding would be wonderful, but also we cannot accept brain stimulation, even with a cash flow. So sorry, I could not help. Crime is such a serious problem here. Something must be done. We must find a way to be accepted in the European Union. Uh, perhaps our failures so far give us the opportunity to begin again more intellectuality by, by for now. Robert has arrived. <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, Liza, uh, the meeting with President Polzer was a failure for now. Alfred is giving his uh, presentation and y y you're with us, Robert. Robert, I'm so glad you have come to see us in Pavlova, my dear. Yes, just for a few days to be with you. I'm curious about the medical care in <coughs> Eastern Europe. And also I want to hear about dads and the new fitness school. Set some exciting new possibilities. Yes, indeed. Um, an ethical business school to help resolve the crime epidemic. We, we, we suggested EBS, electronic brain stimulation, to polls in, in, in the government. He, he was uh, kind yet very, very negative. Agreed. The EBS idea is impossible, Dad. With my London experience, I am very skeptical about crime control in tough environments. EBS seems to be just a dream. You're getting a bit old, Dad. But wait a moment, Robert. I agree with your dad. Crime control is now our Pavlova problem. On a personal level, Timo, the, the son of our good Pavlova friends, is in prison, suffering. With EPS, we might get him out. Why not be open to a medical solution to crime? And Robert, I also have many Pavlovian medical contacts now. The Pavlova Medical Association, perhaps I could encourage them with our help uh, to come up with a, a, a revolutionary EBS solution for crime control and then get a positive response from the government. Uh, not to do it, but to research it. Well, why not electronic solution to treat crime, Robert? Uh, doesn't the, the advantage the appeal to you? No, sorry, Dad. It, it just won't work. My London job is... is is in primary healthcare, bringing me in touch with poverty, criminal environments. I don't think crime is, is an illness to research and treat, but perhaps we need a new powerful anti-crime antibiotic. No more of your English humour, please, Robert. I think seriously that we must treat crime rather than punish it. With inhumane prisons? I think it is the same problem in the USA. Two million in prison costing, costing $50,000 per prisoner each year. Total cost about 100 billion each year. Oh, perhaps my dear Fred Obama would be interested. Well, treatment may save cash, if it works, and reduce our income tax. Oh, no, 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 no. I see it as a great ethical opportunity to save... Thanks, Robert. Prisons do not meet Christian values and ethical standards. 
People should care and not punish criminals. Punishment does not deter them. It does not work. People are now probably afraid to release prisoners who are just going to commit another crime. Mm, I think prison promotes crime rather than prevents it. Seems sad, but I read somewhere that so many released prisoners are often back inside again within a year in every country in the world. Well, it keeps them from of alcohol and, and drugs for a bit. No, it doesn't. They get them inside prison anyway. Prisoners are very creative in getting drugs and drinks. I think the medical profession must do creative research to find a solution for the crime. In medicine, we find solution to all physical and mental problems with an unending supply of expensive alternative medications. The, pharma the pharmaceutical companies are delighted. Uh, they make a bomb and sometimes even gently share it with us as they encourage us to give out even more medications. Mm, yes, Mother. Many medications don't work anyway, but we always have expe excuses. Yes, dear. And we do try for rig rigorous ethical standards as we treat both mind and body to bring either cure or relief or at least comfort. So I think ethics are the key. Even if there are no ethics in business? Yes. We must treat crime as a sickness. Uh, agreed. So we must encourage Pavlova doctors towards the electronic <coughs> solution. I, I like the idea of a quick fix. EBS, electronic brain stimulation to remove the motivation to commit crime. Might even be helpful for healthcare too. Disagree. Research too difficult, possible brain damage, possible other side effects. Political people are very frightened of ne negative side effects. So it may take a long, long time to get official appro approval. All sorts of political, medical, and ethical hurdles to overcome may even work in short term and ten disaster. It fails terribly in the long term. There is that problem. You have to wait ten years for a possible failure, too complex and difficult. The Pavlova medical profession would never propose the idea to the government. Forget it, Mother. I am very patient, Robert, especially when I get my own way in the end. We shall see, Robert. Polza was negative, but I think also talking to some Pavlova medical friends about the EBS idea. Pavlova moves slowly, but they may even have done something about it. What is the latest news? The Pav Pavlova medical profession has proposed a, proposed a solution to the current crime epidemic. Treatment instead of punishment with EBS, electronic brain stimulation. With rigorous historical ethical standards, doctors treat both mind and body to bring either cure or relief or at least comfort. So why not treat for crime control? Government, business and church firmly propose spending limited funds to research EBS. Electronic brain stimulation for crime control? God, people believe crime deserves punishment, not treatment. Extensive neurological research to develop a new EBS to remove the motivation to commit crime it would take years and costly research funding. Side effects may be terrible. Oh my goodness. They did something. I never dreamt they would. Well done. I, I wonder now how the Pavlovian leaders in politics, business and church will react to a medical solution to a crime with EBS, electronic brain stimulation. We hope for a research project. Now we must use our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try and motivate some funding. Must contact Pulsar and try again. If I can remember the telephone number, uh, uh, Robert, uh, I agree Pulsar, brain manipulation is going too far with, with uh, too much risk. Yes, but government try to influence everybody all the time. The mind of people are being controlled all the time by almost unlimited media pressure from politics, business, religion, education, social systems, internet, TV, radio, newspapers, public protests, laws, etc. I agree with George. Ethics must be upheld. Research EBS in 2013, medicine does so many wonderful things for both body and mind including complex electronic examination and testing, diagnosis, treatment, medications, psychiatry, massage, surgery, even transplantation, etc. 
<laughs> Perhaps in the future we may even figure out how to transplant a brain. No more English, please, George. Please be more serious. Medicine does affect the brain. Perhaps EBS may be efficient and effective for both crime and control and health. Who knows the brain limits until we research it? I want to find a way to safely release Timo for the sake of his mother. Agreed. We want to change the criminal personality to motivate criminals to search for happy, non-violent lives. I think that's a bit too dull for them. Me too, Dad. People like risk and adventure and a bit of violence too. Well, young ones do, not the old fogey. Well, perhaps we all do. I do. Perhaps EBS could even change your mind, George. I've been trying to do it for years without much success. I need some hope. Not yet, dear. Be patient. Uh, but I remember WSM women are, so, are superior to men in the end. <laughs> As men get older and older, women take control of everything. Be patient. I'm not quite ready to go. Maybe next week. Thank you for the hope, George. But seriously, I do wonder, is EBS the key to a happy, good life with women and without crime? It must be ethical with only voluntary, voluntary, not compulsory application. Perhaps it could help so many people to have a happy life in a warm social system with almost no crime and no arguments. No arguments? Life would be so dull. I love arguments. My friends do too. Some people argue all the time. They love it and join huge public protests against something. Politics, law, economics, even ethics, Miller. They love the excitement of free dem streets demonstrations, shouting like crazy. They may be very disappointed by you, your view of a relaxed and peaceful EBS for a happy life. Yes, Robert. Even fanatics get so excited, they even forget what they are protesting about. A happy life depends upon how we perceive reality. Well, I perceive reality well today, but I can't remember how I perceived it last week. That is a bit embarrassing. What was your what was your name, Robert? <laughs> oh yes, Robert. I remember. <laughs> well, in 2013, depression is a worldwide epidemic. So perhaps EBS would be wonderful treatment to help negative people to change their perceptions of life. So let's encourage our Pavlovian medical co colleagues to pursue EBS research with another proposal to government. But we know more English humour, please, George. But what will be the reactions from the Pavlovian leaders? I think they will say that EBS is impossible, uncontrollable, dangerous to government business, and they're afraid to dare to let it happen. The churches would say that miracles are which is in, are which in the is in the domain of God and the church, based on faith, not electronics. Why is my view of the world so negative today? Am I getting older? Robert, I'm not happy with negative responses without any alternative solutions or cure, please. Perhaps with so many stressful neuro neurologi neuro neurological problems in 2013, EBA, EBS may even be the treatment of the future. The drug companies would not be happy, but it might work. No, just a dream, Mother. EBS may have terribly dangerous side effects. Why not try? Perhaps impossible now in 2013. So much accepted medical practice was first considered to be impossible and unacceptable. 70 years ago, antibiotics were impossible. 30 years ago, heart transplant was impossible? Agreed. 15 years ago, complex electronic diagnosis was impossible. Even the econo economists just reported that the new model of the brain is becoming available for almost unlimited new research. EBS <coughs> is being researched by Chicago, Mayo Clinic, etc. So anything is possible over time. No, not enough Pavlovian government financial support for rigorous EBS research and testing for crime prevention. So we must use our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try and motivate some funding. True, but the crime epidemic is worldwide in so many countries now. Perhaps with EU, UN and other international financial support and participation, it could achieve an ethical solution to crime. And my friend Obama is always a possibility for help in dangerous solutions like Syria, Iraq, Egypt, etc., where an EBS, EBS click might calm people down. 
He might be delighted with EBS as an ethical, truthful solution to, to so many to so many our political opponents and problems. Not much truth in politics and business, and even the church nowadays may have some difficulty in deciding what the truth is. They talk about it a lot, but don't do it. How true. I like young priests who became that the young priest that became so enthusiastic about golf that he missed Sunday morning mass for a round of golf. God observed him with an angel on the first roll of over 250 meters. His drive became so godly powerful that he achieved a hole in one for the first time ever. The angel was disturbed and said to God, I thought you would punish him. God replied, I did. How could he ever tell anyone about a hole in one when he missed mass to play golf? <laughs> Not much truth in business, crime and corruption are, are accepted as normal. Senior executive financial political candidates who need the cash to get elected. Politicians appreciate the cash and gently respond to crime accordingly with huge fines, but no prison unless if he gets publicity, to, unless he gets publicity to embarrass him. Have you no ethics in business, George? Mm, I do my best, but I forget easily. So, say, the new Pavlovian Business School director who needs cash to start his new school, I have to be polite. EBS is a great challenge. Let's, <coughs> let us wait for the, new, uh, for the new reaction of the Pavlovian government. Dad, to survive in this impossible modern world, we have to worry and also be able to laugh a bit. Agreed. Now I think that as doctors, we enjoy both golf and impossible problems. When we got together, I'm, I'm too old for a new, a new dream. Now, to, now for another hold in one with President Polzer. Until tomorrow. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. The boys are busy, so and now can we talk freely together about EBS? I have tried and failed twice. I am past it. Should I give up? I, I wanted to use our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try motivating some funding. Should I give up? George, have you already forgotten by my creativity test for the bath? Always look for another alternative. You know, sometimes I wish you were an archaeologist rather than a doctor. Why? Because an archaeologist is the best husband a woman can have. The older she gets, the more interested he is in her. And I would have loved that so much. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I will remember that, hopefully. I am happy, dear. We may well get more government reaction to EBS soon. Pavlova wants to be in the EU and has its own way of working or has its own way of working or not working. What are the real values of Pavlova culture that has so easily accepted crime and corruption as natural for so long? I wonder. Could it be like Nigeria, Russia, Italy, Greece, Spain, China, etc., etc., etc.? Look, don't worry, the impossible can happen. Uh, the secret of, of getting ahead don't. is to get started. Oh, here is the news. Government accepts EBS trial. Research of, of electronic brain stimulation for the crime epidemic may resolve prison capacity problems. All leaders agree because something must be done now gives hope for the future to get into the European Union. Pavlova accepts research trial of EBS. We'll need years of research to determine side effects. We'll need to find huge international funding and support. May not work, but no better alternative available. May encourage faith and church encouragement. Imp no impossible, George, but perhaps it will happen. Hooray! The impossible has happened! <laughs> Plus or minus, they all seem to agree to a trial to the uh, EBS. The impossible has happened again. Hooray! Now, I must do something and help Paulza to find finance to, to, to do it. We must use our 20 years of UN contacts in Geneva to try and motivate some funding. We must help him. Uh, I hope we can really trust the Pavlovian people with, with new UN cash. Good question, dear. 
Of course, we can always trust the medical profession. Well, almost always. Mind you, in healthcare, we can never guarantee results. When one treatment fails, we try another, perhaps more expensive medication or procedure. If we fail, the patient may never tell us, but can always go to a traditional healer again or the pharmacy for a hundred alternatives for cash. <laughs> <laughs> the exciting question is, could EBS really work, not only for both crime control and healthcare, could we prevent cancer? Sickness, stress, and even uh, to antisocial behaviour. Even my memory too. No more English humour again, please, George. Be practical. Uh, crime control is the real target. Your secret objective is being young again, who knows? Without stress, people could all be relaxed and kind to each other with no more arguments. Oh, paradise, or is it a bit boring? Uh, well, perhaps happiness is in the head anyway, and EBS will find it. But here is, but here is chance for Timo and maybe his mother too. In impossible. I seem to remember my old, old medical uh, response to an impossible new healthcare problem. It was, it's impossible, but let's do it anyway. I agree, but for me, it must also be ethical. <laughs> so I must try to get get them UN International Research and, and, and funding help. I can also try my INSEAD old business school contacts help and finance so that EBS research can soon begin. The impossible can happen, but it may take a few years with my own, with, with one and, and off with my, with my on and off memory, I, I might be a bit worried. We must never get too worried for every problem. There's always a cure somehow. A cure? Yes, a cure. Like the wife who complained that her husband always came home so late every night. Take my advice, said a good friend. When my husband came home at three o'clock in the morning from my bed, I shouted out, is that you, Jim? And that cured him. Cured him how? <laughs> the friend replied, well, you see, her husband's name was Bill. So no need to worry, George. I will find a way to cure you. Uh, thank you, dear. So, better to bed early and, and talk again tomorrow to resolve my worries. Agreed. Perhaps you will have forgotten them all by tomorrow. So good to talk with you, Alfred. Key question on my mind is, do we have crazy parents now living in Pavlova? Crazy? Perhaps. It's been an exciting week in Pavlova for them to get an agreement, even research EBS. The impossible has happened. I think it's crazy, but it is the reality. Can they really use the 20 years of UN contracts in Geneva to motivate some funding? No, I'm skeptical about EBS, but Dad and Mother are convinced and enthusiastic. They have wonderful UN financial context. What, what is your judgment as a Chicago professor? I must say, Robert, really begin to think Dad is over the hill, but he still seems to be able to convince people on impossible medical projects like EBS. And if he can persuade and get funding, then the cash will talk. Yes, now Mother has ethics as her key priority, ex ex except, of course, in family planning. Really? She insists that birth control is confidential data of the wife, not obliged to tell her husband, asks why she does not seem to get pregnant, despite his great nightly effort. effort. Private information deliberately concealed does not seem at all ethical to me. Agreed. But perhaps the husband keeps some little affairs secrets too. That seems to be the family world of 2013. Just like business, where truth and ethics are sometimes so discreetly ignored. And now Mother supports our crazy dad's dad on EBS with her strong determination, even though she knows that research have been trying with EBS for years without much success. Could it happen now in a little pavlova? I wonder. Well, I don't know, Alfred, but we must help them to do whatever they want, even if they want to be in the cloud. clouds. But should we join the EBS crusade? I don't know.
Hopes or illusions? Good question. Hopes? Mine? Yours? It applies to us all. But we all... But we are lucky to be in Pavlova together for serious discussion now. Face to face to resolve our worries. Worries? Well, Alfred, the government decision to authorize and finance EBS research is an amazing challenge and opportunity. But how long it, it will take to achieve a validated EBS product? 20 years? Dad will be 102, and I should be 51. Uh, yes, and with a wife and five children to look after, with or without a clip. While EBS research goes on for several years and a huge budget to test the possible side effects, no immediate side effects, but horrible possible long-term side effects. Oh dear. So I must confess, Alfred, I don't believe in EBS. I feel I must help my crazy dad. Maybe I should come here to help with the research after my family practice residency ends next year. Got to protect research funding in this crazy crime and corruption environment. Perhaps I should do an MBA at dad's new business school. Well, that is very creative, Robert, and ethical too. Mother would be pleased, especially if Timo gets released. We have not talked about it. EBS is not my work, but I'm worried about what the politicians might do if EBS really works. It's frightening. The potential of controlling populations is horrific. Should we wish it not to work? Not exactly, because the real priority is the good crime-free life of the people. But I wonder, is a crime-free, healthy life what people seek as they live with, with a new health care for over 130 years? What do you mean? 130 years? That seems impossible in 2013. Perhaps from 2018, with EBS, we may begin to survive longer and longer. Yes, but in 1918, living to 90 years was a dream, which in 2013 is now a reality. <laughs> I have to laugh. Trying to imagine family life, great, great, great grandparents are all around either arguing with each other or having a, a peaceful life with EBS clicks. Perhaps we all need some crime discrimination in our world to make life more interesting <coughs> and amusing. Maybe. Who knows? Should EBS ever be allowed, but just to repress like dishonest chemical weapons? Honesty is always the best policy when there is money in it. Robert, never let your morals prevent you from doing what is right. I wonder if the news is on now. The Pavlova government has approved medical research, medical profession research on EBS to resolve the 2013 crime epidemic. With UN funding allocated with international cooperation, Pavlova hopes to develop and test an EBS crime for crime prevention by 2018. Would EBS success lead to the long-awaited admission to the European Union, which is so vital for the Pavlova economic development? Pavlova EBS approved for research at last. Could young and old Pavlova prisoners after voluntary EBS be safely released into society? What are the dangerous long-term side effects of EBS? There are so many dangerous questions to be answered over time. Well, done and done again. Crazy, but some UN funding approved. Seems impossible. My key worry is side effects that we can't even imagine at this moment. True. Years to develop EBS, <laughs> years to test, years to get law legal approval by the Pavlovan government with strict controls that really work. It seems no wonder how it might be misused by pol politicians to get votes. Are we developing a dangerous chemical weapon? Well, my dad's too. Pavlova wants to get into the EU, needs to control crime, and has no better solution. But will the EU believe Pavlova can come, can become crime-free? Will it need 20 years more of eth ethical EU research to validate it? Hence, no early admission. So the key question is, how will it end up in politics, business, and the church? There will be a gentle people that would would have had an EBS and then more aggressive ones who will refuse it. The non-EBS people who may seem a new opportunity to be aggressive and get away with it needs research. Like every other major healthcare research project, it will all take time to achieve. Could be a disaster, Alfred, in so many ways. Another key question, are we guilty for helping Pablo to start? I have so many questions. So what will happen? Must we decide? Of course. And if it worries you? Yes, and I can always just take EBS clip. 
Yes, but I like the arguments. They can be done. <laughs> True. Now, as a family, we're all emotionally invested in EBS and have to look after our crazy parents. So let us keep touch on the web and meet here every year to discuss and see what progresses and problems and, and dangers and as the venture begins. Let us hope it will help Pavlova and our parents in so, many, in so many ways that we cannot even imagine just now. With so many possible side effects, we know what could happen. I have so many questions. Mm. Could be expensive, like the visit to my lawyer later, late last month. In the office, I inquired about the rates. $50 for three questions, replied the lawyer. Isn't that awfully steep? I replied and said, yes. And what's your third question? <laughs> we both had to laugh. On we go together, agreed? Agreed. Here we are in Pavlova for the Great Success Meeting in January 2018, five years since the EBS adventure began in 2013. Welcome President Polzer. Dear Polzer and Robert too, this is a great day. I am sorry my son Alfred cannot be with us. Everything going so well. I am amazed. The impossible news is wonderful. <coughs> After five years of research with international cooperation, Pavlova has now developed and rigorously tested the EBS for crime prevention. It works well without significant side effects so far. With voluntary EBS, so many prisoners may now begin to be safely released into society with huge prison cost savings. EBS is now legally approved by the Pavlovian government with strict controls. With crime controlled, it is finally when with crime controlled is finally controlled. Pavlova may be welcome into the EU at last. Pavlova has now developed and adopted EVS for crime control. We've really worked to end the long-term epidemic. What will be the short-term and long-term side effects? EU admission will require rigorous evaluation and more research funding. I am amazed that EBS could achieve so quickly. It was thanks to your help and promoting UN international co cooperation and funding. Your 20 years of UN contract contacts in Geneva really paid off. So much cash came. Perhaps uh, the only benefit of old, old age is to still have old, old friends with cash. Cash is a great motivator for achieving the impossible. Yes, indeed, George, especially in Pavlova. Well, I'm so pleased that uh, uh, it, could it could happen. Still around 88. It gives me the illusion of being useful. Yes, and now we have made EBS work, resolve the crime epidemic, release the prisoner and get into the EU. Ah, is that all? Just Robert's English humour. My hope, Polsa, is for release of Timo from prison and the care of his mother. Have to accept some uncertain certainty, but hooray for an ethical solution to the problems of crime and prison. Yes, Pavlova can begin to release prisoners and reapply for the EU at last. I am so proud of it. Should be enough to keep you busy. Uh, my memory is going a bit, uh, but I am so happy for any ch chance to help. That will be great. And how is your ethical business school going, George? Yeah, give us the school good news. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Dad, Pavlova Ethical Business School is going so well going now that handed it over to the new Pavlova director. Yes, Robert, I, I, I should thank you for that. And I have got an MBA and, and become a crime and corruption expert. It most fed me 
to devote myself full-time to the EBS research project, to look after the EBS International Research Funding. Very good. In crime epidemic. I still don't, still don't fully agree with EBS, but it has given me a very personal healthcare mission in life. At last. Thank you, Dad. You're so welcome, dear Robert. EBS developed and tested after only five years of research. Amazing! Your efforts have succeeded, Polsa. You did it! Indeed. It may take a bit of time to get to the ethic accepted, but that seems to be the same in Europe, where a bank manager has just been arrested last week for $13 billion of client tax <coughs> evasion. No one has that. Quite an achievement. Such a shame you got caught. Robert, no more English humor, please. Ethics is my thing, not crime and corruption, please. Yes, madam, I shall make an effort to look more ethical in future, with less humor. Ah, thank you, Robert. And now, Eliza, I agree with your com completely. The new law can begin to now provide for vol voluntary prison EBS treatment for crime control to enable a uh, rapid prisoner release under a strict electronic control. Impossible to imagine back in 2013. Yes, great achievement, but now we must hope it will really work long term. With your efforts and good luck, Holza, it will. Well, I've come to believe that if you say you can do something and then you can do it, you are right. And of course, you are also right when you say you can't. Thank you, George. So now Polsa can do it in Pavlova. Of course, uh, acceptance in the EU and, and US may take years and years. I may even be alive still. Of course you will, George, my dear. You will live on forever with a nice little EBS click every Christmas up to 130 years. We have to recognize that in medical care, every new development brings new problems to challenge us. Polsa, now... Can you tell us about the Pavlovian reaction to EBS uh, politics, business and, and the church at this very early EBS stage? All positive. Reduce the crime epidemic, release prisoners safely and with economic development get into the European Union at long, at long last. Everything going so, so well. I have to wonder, are the prisoners going to believe EBS? Will they risk an EBS click by volunteering for it, or will they be too scared? But overall, I want to see when Timo can be released. His mother will be so happy with, and the hope who locks his family together again. Oh, they helped us to start the business school, Polsa. I don't forget it. Yes, I hope that too. Crime and prison release is the key issue. Got to make it if going to the future. Uh, the future. Very hard to know the future. <coughs> Reminds me of when Robert was a small was small and asked me about the future. Dad, is it true that in Africa a man doesn't know his future wife until he marries her? I said and replied. Happens in all countries, son. We all have to wait twenty years to find out who we really married. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We end up with the same future boss at home. <laughs> Are you complaining again, George? <laughs> oh, no, dear. I accept WSM. Women are superior men. English humour again. Be warned, Robert. Everything about EBS looks great at the moment. But who knows what may happen? So, Polsa, my dear, may I make a suggestion in the Pavlova uncertainty? Of course there is. Well... Get the women active in your EBS politics. Men talk a lot about doing things when it gets down to it. It's the women who really get things done. Uh, thank you, Lisa. I will remember. It will have to be another Pavlova revolu uh, revolution. <laughs> Good luck with your great effort, Polza. Our hopes are with you. Thank you, George, for all our help for Pavlova. I'm now going to make you, George, an honorary Pavlova citizen. The ABC battle begins. So on we go together, with contacts on the web until our meeting again. Next year, everything goes so well. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed.
Welcome again, Alfred and Robert. So glad you could come. Poles are overwhelmed with work and George is away with his MBA program and cannot be here today. Oh, what a day. Timo has been released and feels well again and so does his mother and the whole family. BBS is becoming involved with general health care. Uh, yes, it is wonderful. I'm so intrigued by what is happening in Pavlova. It used to be a country of pills, now it's a country of EBS cliffs. It's, impo it's almost impossible, and I'm so curious to s discuss it with you. After only one year of EBS experience. Oh, here is the news. Electronic brain stimulation was adopted as a voluntary prison opportunity to enable rapid prisoner release under strict electronic control. After initial sceptical delay by the prisoners, the prison population has rapidly declined by 80%. Crime has reduced by 80%. Huge prison cost savings have pleased the government and stimulated business and the economy. So many prisoners have now been released. <clears throat> Possible long-term effects may be very serious. Will so much crime be prevented if EBS becomes an accepted treatment with no further punishment for crime? Will it work? EBS has become popular for possible health care with limited validation. What very serious short and long-term unexpected side effects will suddenly arise. Now, Alfred, would you like a pill or a click? Jokes apart, Robert. The release of so many prisoners is wonderful. I do hope it works and prevents further crime, like an inoculation. If they want to change Pavlova, they have to change ourselves. I am not optimistic, Mother. With the possibility of unexpected both short-term and long-term effects, we, we have to wait 20 years to find out. Anything might happen. An EBS receiver might suddenly... Click again and become a killer. I'm very amused, but very sceptical. Yes, but the dramatic, unexpected side effects could be positive or negative. Not just crime, but a wonderful EBS solution for healthcare with rigorous medical research. I have to agree, Alfred. It might be wonderful for healthcare problems like cancer, depression and healthy lifestyle. Could it even replace pharmaceuticals? Pillar or click? Who knows? The doctors would be so confused and the drug companies so furious. Perhaps it could even provide, provide, become a preventative and curative, curative inculation of for HIV. Oh damn, HIV? My goodness, I never thought of that. We accept healthcare inoculation so easily. Perhaps EBS inoculation is the future of preventive and curative healthcare. Impossible? Or is it? Impossible. Blows my mind. EBS may have inoculated me, even without a click. What a revolutionary cultural change. It is hard to change the traditional Pavlova culture, Alfred. But even churches must be so pleased with the chance rather than punish people. Just like the prayer, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Nah, but stop a minute, Mother. You are too optimistic. It is very early EBS days. What about the people who suffered from violent crime? Will they want someone punished, not just clipped? Perhaps they will take over the punishment themselves. Quite an effect on social and cultural life. If someone beats you up, Mother, would you just want to give them a clip? Good question. Especially it's your father who did it. Uh, maybe both dad and mother would need a click. Expectations may change. Maybe EBS could have some strange sexy side effects. Oh, no, no, please. Not at your father's great age of 88 years. I would prefer to be beaten up. <laughs> Sounds like dad's 89 years problems could all do with a click, a quick click. Memory, hearing, athlete's foot, arthritis. Well, I did promise your dad a cure for all of his problems, so I have to find one. Could be a click. Ah, how about suicide when he when he is 129, 29 years old? With a quick click. A quick click. The pharmaceutical companies love it. A quick click with expensive alternative medications. Perhaps it also needs hope. The hope that really cures us, mother. 
No ethics in new drugs, but always lots of promises. Drugs that give a quick fix have become very popular with people. More popular than psychotherapy, which may take a long time. Go, go on indefinitely and cost a fortune. In 2018, I think for healthcare, people really want a quick fix. Now, I am intrigued by this quick fix alternative medication idea. Alfred, are there any ethics in the pharmaceutical business to get in the way of the making profit? No, Mother. And US healthcare financial reports suggest that the public spends more on alternative medicines in drugs and untested treatments than on accepted medical care and so often on quick fixes that go on forever. Yeah, it's the same in many countries. In China, India and Africa, sick people first get treatment from the traditional healer with a great cultural ceremony, which I think is, is hypnosis in disguise. And only if it fails do they go to a regular government health clinic. There's reality. I wonder what effect EBS will have. Perhaps traditional healers will even adopt it. As many healers in India adopted penicillin. EBS as part of the new traditional healing ceremony. With music too. Wonderful illusion. These are exciting times. Well, I'm not so sure. Doctors may well begin to think about EBS as ethical mind-body control, as the new miracle pro potential for resolving all health problems. Perhaps even cancer, treated with an electronic click, would be fit the quick-click culture so well. Yes, George, without English humour, please. My real priority is still ethics, to change personality and motivate criminals to seek a happy, non-violent life. Clicks? Only voluntary application. Perhaps to give us all a good life in a warm social system, with no more crime? But I still seem to have doubts, too. Yes, I did not even imagine that could the potential for healthcare might be. In 2019, depression is an epidemic. Millions of people with chronic sickness. Who knows what could happen in the future with just one click? EBS could be efficiency. EBS could be the key to healthcare efficiency in the future. Shit. Sorry. Beware, beware of efficiency, Father. With women, it may lead to strange results. A friend of mine studied my wife's housekeeping routine, made suggestions. She agreed with everyone. So now he does all the housework very efficiently. WSM. Again, I fear. And now, in this new Pavlova click, click culture, we keep in web touch, waiting for the real EBS revolution. So until our next meeting next year, click. 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 Welcome, President Polzer, dear Polzer, so glad you have come to see us again for our January 2020 meeting. Two years of EBS and we are still all alive and together for our special meeting. Just about, George. <laughs> Sorry? Just the three of us? Uh, sorry that Alfred and, and Robert cannot come uh, due to work pressures. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that after only two years, EBS seems to be working well and is accepted as part of the new Pavlova culture. But you seem to be worried, Pulsa. Um, yes and no. You helped so much to motivate the um, international UN funding to make uh, ABC research possible. Now ends are those a key to ERBS success. Now I must tell you, I am worried. Should I now be ban EBS and it forever and change back the Pavlova culture? You seem to be worried, Polza. Uh, did you take a click? Heavens no. If I did, I would not worry about anything and nothing would be done. I am terrified getting a click by mistake. I am the cause of all your troubles, Polzer. I can't remember, but you must tell me. No, 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 Josh. It was me. And now I want so much to talk with you <coughs> about the real EBS. It is not the primary good effects of EBS that worry me, but the terrible secondary effects. What are we doing to Pavlova culture for the future? I am full of questions to talk about. The crime epidemic is resolved, but we have 
an EBS epidemic in this place. Agreed. But first, the latest news. Pavlova crime has been reduced and results warmly welcomed by the leaders of politics, business and the church. Many other EU members have begun to investigate and research EBS, mind body. Mind body control with EBS may also have the potential for resolving all sorts of mental and physical health problems, with the result that they don't care anymore. Large numbers of the general Pavola population have begun to volunteer for EBS research to resolve their mind and body problems. <clears throat> the crime epidemic is resolved. But the Pavlova culture is changing to become a passive, agreeable and inactive. Who knows what the results will be on the social and familiar environment of Pavlova? Just one click, nobody cares anymore. Oh dear. Oh, the crime epidemic is resolved. What is wrong with that, George? Are you never satisfied? Oh, at my great age, only very occasionally. <laughs> but it's not your fault. <laughs> Agreed. Thank you so much, George. But I wonder too, is Pavlova now becoming a more ethical, calm society? What more could EBS hope to achieve at a social level? Is getting anger really necessary in family, business and political life? EBS helps us to stop blaming others and getting angry. Could EBS help us to keep calm and if we get angry, only blame ourselves for allowing ourselves to be angry? Perhaps we should only blame ourselves? No, no, uh, that is a revolutionary concept, Elisa. If someone makes me angry, I resist giving them a punch on the nose. But I do not blame myself for feeling like it. Exactly, Pelsa. That is lack of mind-body control. Me. Crime is over, but I am so worried. With a click, worries disappear, leaving people not caring about anything. It is really changed of lower family life. Changes is too much that we are all so kind and gentle to each other. So why bother to work or complete about anything? Oh dear, now I am worried too. Perhaps that Dr. Alzheimer is calling us. No, I must admit, sport becomes a bit boring when nobody really wants to score a goal and win. True, in business too. Business motivation changes. What makes money is less important than using it to help others. Perhaps our new MBA will be useless in the new Pavlova. Oh dear. Uh, wait a minute, Polza. Perhaps politics could be productive when we all agree on almost everything, without argument, and just accept other people's point of view. Is that not heaven on earth? Oh dear. A revolutionary thought. Will heaven be a bit boring? I have never thought like this before. Oh dear. Yes, you are getting the point. Do not take a click. I wonder too, after two years of EBS, are we really help helping people to find a healthy, ha happy life or dragging them into helpless boredom? It definitely helped to crime control, but with what social costs and what limits? No. Well, with EBS in healthcare, it may be a wonderful future to be able to avoid cancer, HIV, sickness, anger, and, and even uh, antisocial behaviour, and live to 130 years. People become so kind and, and uncompetitive with each other, with no arguments. It, it is heaven. Oh, terribly dull. Oh dear. What have we done? Oh dear, indeed. What have we done with such good intentions? Our road to hell seems to be paid with good intentions. Is this the life Pavlova wants? Are we dragging them with electronics? Does not sound too ethical to me, but I have never had to face this problem before. Strange thoughts coming into me even without an ABC click. Is a crime-free and healthy life what we seek in Pavlova? As we live on and on with our new healthcare, to 130 years or even more, with nothing much to do or worry about, with the new health care development, we are certainly going to live on and on, longer and longer, but what value will give over a long, <coughs> long, long life? This is my problem. Should I ban EBS? Oh dear, terrible question, Polza. 
What gives value to life without the struggle to achieve something? We need an active, not a sleeping society. So now I have become a skeptic, like your son Robert. Should we ban EBS now? Does danger give value to life and make it interesting? The public loves to watch crime and danger? Why? Other people in dangerous criminal adve adventures. The international TV is still full of it every night. Is that what people really want out of life? Do we need some real crime and disagreement in our world to make it both interesting and amusing? You raise a, a, a good, almost hilarious point, Polza. And uh, let me dare to say it, another unexpected UBS side effect has flashed into my ethical mind. What's flashing tonight, dear? Unlimited political control, the potential to control everyone, not my ethical cup of tea. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Too painful. Let's escape to the latest news. Aging Centre was <coughs> released after successful EBS. Crime ep epidemic over. Pavlova hoping for the EU. Results warmly welcomed by the leaders of politics, business and church. Many other EU members investigating, investigating EBS. Obama also interested. Could both psychological and physical problems, even cancer, may one day be resolved with a click? Large numbers of the general Pavola population using EBS. Where will it all end? The, dem the demand for smoking, alcohol and drugs has faded away. Why? The click gives a quick fix. In Pavlova, the small East European country, the whole society is changing. Life has become calm, quiet, kind, gentle and peaceful. For those who agree to have used EBS to resolve their problems, some others refuse. However, still not in the EU. Should EBS be banned? Now I am concerned too, George. Any ethical values held by those that who refuse EBS? The non-EBS people? What do they really think about the boring, peaceful culture? Do they leave Pavlova for more? The exciting crime and corruption environment of the USA? No, no, no. They stay and they will try to take over. The non-EBS people will be both bored and angry. Perhaps there is no limit to what they will or will not to do. Either with or without a religious or political excuse, life may become so boring that they will create new dangers, adventures, challenges and disputes. So I cannot take a click. I must do something. Would it be a bit like the powerful aristocracy and powerless poor in the European society of the 15th century? If they take control of the country, <coughs> if they run it in their own uh, competitive, aggressive way, like Pol Pot of Cambodia in 1975, 78, when over two million were killed, would they kill us all off? No need to. With a click, we would just or be the powerful non-EBS EBS people who may be highly aggressive, for them, conflict and war are exciting and almost normal. Of course, they would try to delegate the actual fitting and killing to the powerless pro-EBS people while they live on in luxury drinking their whiskies. So now, Bolsa, I too am a very worried and feeling responsible. Where Pavlova could be going with EBS success? Could EBS change the whole world? Mm, Polza, you raise a very significant question that needs to be studied at length. What can be done? You are responsible for action, so thank you so much for, for thank you so much for coming to see us. These problems are now being discussed at government level, and I am being criticized as responsible for supporting you and EBS. Now, I now feel so worried with all the good things EBS has brought. How to control the bad things? Good point. But we can't just throw away seven years of research effort. Can we? Uh, I wish I knew. Excuse me, George. I am beginning to feel very naive, unethical and highly irresponsible. It won't last long. 
We love to think and talk about the joys of heaven, but we don't know really what we shall feel like when we are uh, there. <laughs> We've nothing to do and nothing to worry about. Even now, my brain wakes in the morning, but stops after lunch. Yes, we seem to have inspired a strange, uncertain future lifestyle. Perhaps we should come up with some solutions. What to do next? Should we ban EBS? Shall we ban it right now? If we take a click, we avoid the worry and we just won't care either way. My reaction? EBS is not just a Pavlova problem, it is a world problem. Oh, Obama would love it. Need to get women involved. Ask a man to do something and he will talk about it. Ask a woman and she'll do it. We keep in such close web touch and meet again next year. With hopefully no need of a click. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Welcome, President Polzer. Oh, dear Polzer, it's so good to see you again. It is over eight years since we started and, and helped you to fund the EBS in 2013. We are, we are all together to discuss the EBS and, and strange developments in Pavlova. So, have we done well with EBS? Uh, uh, first, the news. Pavlova society has changed into pro-EBS and non-EBS groups. Non-EBS has taken control of politics and business, but nobody has been harmed. Large numbers of the general Pavlova population have used EBS to resolve their mind and body problems. Life has become calm, quiet, kind, gentle, peaceful, almost boring. Pavlova are still hoping for the EU. Many young people have gone abroad for more exciting life in the USA, Asia and Europe. But now powerful non-EBS people may be planning to do something more dangerous and exciting. Pavlova, not yet accepted by the EU. Health care of EBS still being rigorously researched. So, have we succeeded or failed with EBS? Succeeded. Crime down and prisoners released. Failed. We deserve it for our naivety. EBS was warmly welcomed by the powers of the politics and business, but now the non-EBS people have taken over. <clears throat> business is surviving. I think must agree. Failed. Of all this crime-free with perhaps a healthy but boring lifestyle, what do people really want as they live on for 130 years? Failed. I agree must very, very reluctantly accept that we need some crime and excitement in our Pavlova world to make life interesting and amusing. No, I'm confused. As usual nowadays. Now, what are we talking about? Oh yes, I remember. EBS, have we succeeded? I'm not sure anymore. It is so hard to decide. So many young people have taken off and gone abroad for a more exciting life in USA. I don't know how many have ended up in prison there with the other 2 million American prisoners. For me, EBS was a great adventure of treating, not punishing crime, to give a better life a chance. Agreed. But the EBS potential is not just for crime control. With more, <coughs> more research, perhaps, our brain may be able to control every sickness, and even cancer, which arises when the immune system fails to kill of new, kill off new cancer cells, which is, has normally been doing successfully for the previous 20 years. This intrigues me too, Alfred. Critical research issue. Genes are protective of our immune system but go to sleep and allow cancer to, de to develop. And so who feeds our cancer? We do. We do. We nourish our own cancer because our protective genes fall into inactivity. Now, if EBS can get the brain to reawaken and re the relatively the relevant genes stop feeding the cancer, perhaps we can cure cancer ourselves. 
just as we do all the time automatically with all our other minor injuries. You have made great progress, Robert. Come to join me in Chicago. The body heals itself most of the time, hence the EBS potential is to reinforce the mind and body, and to maybe even change healthcare from pharmaceuticals to electronics. Impossible to even imagine it, but it may be coming. The research would be wonderful. Thank you for your offer, Alfred. I accept now. You see, I'm still skeptical about EBS long term. We are still years away from actually being able to do new, wonderful healthcare, self-help and all that. Even with great new research at Chicago, Harvard, Mayo Clinic, etc. But it's old country feeling. Well, it's all a bit beyond me now. Now, are you satisfied, Alfred? Well, I am for research funding, but not for Pavlova politically inspired. My next article may bring in millions. The potential may be there to change healthcare from drugs to electronics. The pharmaceutical companies must be terrified. I wonder how the doctors will react, especially when, with computer internet developments, the individual can even do more and even more to heal himself as he seeks his own quick fix that he loves so much. It is so exciting. Well, it's all a bit beyond me now. But are you satisfied, Polzer? Not at all. My world has changed with all this EBS. Should we ban it, ban it? Even more political change that may be coming. See the news? In Pavlova society, growing differences are arising between the pro-EBS and non-EBS groups. Pavlova is still hoping for the EU. Non-EBS groups are taking over political power in Pavlov governments. Pro-EBS people are becoming less and less interested in politics. Just seeking a peaceful life. However, still not in the EU. And George, how do you find the ethical business school MBA going since you handed over to Pavlova team? Well, as far as I can remember, which is <laughs> a bit limited nowadays, we still have good students who study well, but the non-EBS do much better, both in class and after graduation. Non-EBSs seem to be more motivated and less ethical than the pro-EBSs. I think Pavlova's economic competitivity and development will depend almost entirely on non-EBSs. So in the new EBS environment of Pavlova, politics and business are surviving, mainly with non-EB management. How about the leaders? Are they satisfied with the what is happening? Let me tell you what I think. We need reality, please. Well, <coughs> in the government, non-EBS people seem quite satisfied. They have conquered crime and taken full control of the government. Most of the population is obtained and causing no trouble. We are still not in the EU, but they seem no danger of insecurity or aggression. Economic development is modest but adequate. And what Non-EBS people send their children for education overseas to prevent EBC con um, contamination. And what about business in the church? Yes, they are satisfied with the non-EBS in control. No trade union problems after an EBS clip. Alcohol and drug business now mainly for export. Plans for expansion modest EBS, well, modest tax rates law. Church is satisfied with much higher attendance at church services. Anger and aggression are becoming rare indeed. Almost disappeared. Sport a bit dull and the church does not allow any disgust or heaven due to some current uncertainty about what it's like in our peaceful, boring world. <laughs> so much for my naive hopes for an ethical world. The leaders all seem to have got what they wanted and are satisfied. But what about the other 80% of the Pavlova population? Do they have a life or do they have a life of value or are they just lambs in peaceful flock? Happiness is certainly in the head, but not in this environment. This strange Pavlova environment reminds me of my non-EBS neighbor who came from work last week and explained to his wife. Pack your bags, I have won the lottery. The wife excited asked. Should I pack clothes for cold or warm weather? He said, packed all, 
you are leaving. <laughs> Perhaps they were uh, both in need of a click. <laughs> yes. Now should we now ban EBS as the origin of the international finding contacts? I feel I must ask your advice. What must be done about EBS? We are crime-free, but still not admitted to the EU. Oh, what a terrible question, Polsa. After all you gave down to make it happen, the powerful people seem to be satisfied and the others just accept it, even though life has become so strange and negative in Pavlova. Let's meet again tomorrow to think about what we might do to help you, Polsa. Agreed? Agreed. 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 So, please, we are all together. Terrible news. Polza can't come. He has, contact, he has contacted me. He, ha he has having great trouble with the non-EBS members in the government who, who want to get him out for raising too many thought questions. They suggest to click. They suggest a click to improve relations, but he refuses. We must see him soon. Let's get the news of today, George. With all that the noise outside, something is going on in Pavlova. Oh dear. <laughs> Here is the, the latest news. Three hours ago, Pavlova was invaded by terrorists in an al attempt to take over the country as a feudal terrorist state. The Pavlova non-EBS... government is fighting back. Obama, supported by France and the UK, has been informed and has promised assistance. Without contacting Congress, Obama has begun air airstrikes in Pavlova. Pavlova, invaded by terrorists in an Alibaba attempt to take over the country as feudal terrorist state. Pavlova EBS soldiers are reluctant to get involved. Battles are being lost. Pavlova EBS people are not interested anymore in politics and want to give up peaceful life by avoiding resistance. Perhaps Hollande and Cameron are supporting Obama to divert, to divert the public attention from the severe home budget deficits. Oh my God, George, what an impossible crisis. We were so busy trying to manage the pseudo heaven of EBS, we didn't even think about the Pavlova security. Even heaven needs protection. Oh, another disaster. How could this happen, George? Robert, perhaps you should leave now. What did Pavlova do to provoke this attack? I don't know. Was the non-EBS government looking for some <coughs> excitement by harassing some feudal <coughs> Well, perhaps a Pavlovan government provoked the attack by making life more interesting. Now hold on, George, more news coming. Obama in a TV Obama in a TV presentation has stated that he is he has highly reliable security evidence from an undisclosed, um, undisclosed that feudal terrorists in Pavlova have chemical weapons stolen from Syria and financed by Batar and Barabia. France and the UK are joining in the air attacks on Pavlova feudal terrorist targets. Russia, China and Iran are neutral but well protected against any possible feudal sabotage. Due to the vacation, the EU Council and UN Security Council are not able to meet until next week. We're planning to send UN investigation teams to Pavlova. It will take two weeks to organise. Obama has threatened to invade Pavlova to support the non-EBS government and to destroy both the terrorists and the chemical weapons. Possibly NATO support will take some time to negotiate. Can we all leave now? I have urgent research meeting in London. 
I am in health research to save lives, not take them. I'm not ready for tariff sports. Perhaps you'd like a click, Calvary. <laughs> no charts, Alfred, but I can imagine how you could have. I suggest we think about going into the cellar. Uh, where is the cellar, George? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh, Robert, go and find the cellar, please. Right away, Mother. Sorry, no time for a click, Alfred. Robert, the cellar is uh, through that door, I think. Agreed. No, 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 not here. Down the cellar, everybody. Robert, lead the way. Uh, the cellar? Um, I can't remember where the cellar... Oh, yes, dear, down below. Robert will lead the way. I guess we all have to go into the cellar. The airport is probably blocked by the roads and they're not safe to travel. We are stuck. Mother, perhaps we should find a way to defend ourselves in case of attack. We may need some help to survive this. I don't think EBS will be much help at the moment. Oh, no time for your English humour. Please, Robert. Sorry, Mother. Another crisis for you to manage. I side. think it's a bit safer here until it gets a bit quieter. Agreed? Uh, agreed? Agreed. Well, we have been an hour in this mucky cellar, George. I think it's... I think things are quieter. I will go up first to see if it's all okay. You can all come up again now. Nothing going on. All seems to be quiet now. So strange after an hour in the cellar. Oh dear, who, who could have guessed this would happen? Alfred, I am suspicious. It seems too quiet now. What is going on, or not going on? It's really strange. Almost funny, Robert. We were all so concerned about our EBS, and then a little feudal terrorist attack breaks out. The outside world has other priorities than crime and EBS. Survival seems to be the key value of life. Even our little EBS heaven. No, Alfred. EBS did not seem to be so important now. Oh, EBS. I'd forgotten about that. Obama will save us this time because I share some of his values. <laughs> it's not his way of pra practicing them. I think we have to improve EBS from a purely negative to a more positive force when needed. <laughs> Wait a moment, Eliza. Uh, <laughs> new invasion reports are coming in. We need the news. American air attacks on the terrorists have led to many feudal casualties. Obama reported to be in personal contact with Batal and Arabia. <coughs> no sign of feudal terrorist withdrawal. No details yet available. Oh, there you are, George. I knew Obama would save us. I'm sure he has spoken firmly to Batar and Barabia, who financed these feudal Al-Baba-type terrorist activities. They did it in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Egypt, Syria, etc. Now in Pavlova, Obama will act with power and give the orders. Hollande and Cameron will follow on to get some of the glory. <laughs> or else what, Eliza? Robert. Oh, let me guess, Mother. Obama will say, Stop it! Stop it! Enough is enough! Stop financing these terrorists! I will send over the drones to take you out. Am I communicating? Very convincing stuff. Obama communicates well in the Eastern Europe and the Middle East. 
That could that be true? I think he will tell the Tar in Barabia to take action and get the feudal terrorists out immediately. Or else... Or else what, Eliza? Or else he would send in the drones and take out the Batar sporting buildings and something in Barabia. Just a demonstration, of course. Uh, not a war which might have needed con congressional approval. Yes, Obama loves a drama. A threat and a demonstration of power. If I were him, which I'm not, I would send in a few planes and rockets anyway to do a bit of ceremonial damage. Just to reinforce the message. Terrorists have a great respect for violence. So now we must get the latest news. Pavlova feudal invasion defeated by dynamic American, <coughs> French and UK air power and US parachute troop invasion of key centres. Feudal terrorists rapidly withdrawing on all borders from Batar and Barabia. Two purely demonstration air attacks on Batar of Arabia by American, French and British planes to show that Obama is serious. Complaints to the UN will be investigated by a UN team, which is scheduled to arrive in Pavola next month. Generally, EBS people are beginning to return home and relax again, seeking a peaceful life. The non-EBS government resolves to change the EBS control re regulations. Women in Pavola seem to be taking over the government to get to Pavlova and to the EU at last. Eliza, you are wonderful in a crisis situation with international conflict and politics. You, you could anticipate how Obama would react to those feudal terrorists. You should be in international politics. Perhaps the Pavlovan government and the UN Security Council need you more than family <coughs> planning in WHO. <laughs> WSA, women superior to men. <laughs> w w WSM in crisis may become a reality as women take over from these old, old political men who are well past retirement age but still getting paid. As I told you before, I'm very patient as long as I get my own way in the end. Just like Margaret Thatcher. I think we must research your new potential, Mother. Agreed, Alfred. Alfred, saved again. Thank you, Obama and Mother. Did you telepathically give him the idea? <laughs> but luck! Now what do you have for the future? Should we feel a little responsible for the Pavlova suffering? Well, America has saved Pavlova and the world too. I hope the world will be grateful, but I doubt it. However, the Pavlova women will always remember and be grateful for survival against feudal aggression. Uh, perhaps they will begin to take over from the non-EBSs, uh, with a little encouragement from President Polter and me. Perhaps Polter will make EBS freely available to Obama so that he can release those two million people in prisons in the USA and save a hundred billion dollars a year. <laughs> that seems reasonable to me. Yes, and perhaps now we can get back to the EBS problem. The adventures today were a bit t too exciting, uh, but we survived and we have to change and to change and be able to laugh. I seem to change all the time, even without a laugh. But if we want to change, we also have to be able to laugh. Oh, no English humour, please, George, dear. <laughs> you nowadays do change so much, but I sometimes wonder who you are. Before our marriage, you would sometimes stay awake all night thinking about something I said to you. But now, after 30 years of marriage, you either interrupt me or fall asleep before I've even finished speaking. So I cannot laugh without a click. <laughs> well, we seem to have survived the Pavlova feudal invasion. EBS has worked, Pavlova is crime free, and now we need to figure out how to get into the EU. I feel particularly responsible. Can you remember which part, Doug? Uh, no, but your mother will, and I won't argue about it. It's easier to obey. <laughs> Happiness is in the head, George. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, dear. We're about to do. We're about. Thank you, dear. Where about do you think it is? Perhaps we were all a bit too absorbed in Pavlo ABS and didn't even imagine that a Pavlo of a heaven would need security. But thanks to Obama, we can all meet again tomorrow and decide what to suggest next. 
Agreed. No, agreed. Uh, agreed. Welcome back, President Polzer. Uh, how are you now? I should like to say, say well, but alas, not. The non-EBS in the government is giving me a very hard time, <laughs> but I must stay in on regardless. So I welcome advice from my good, loyal research finding friends with my three problems. Crime, EU, and the future of EBS. Should I ban it? Well, who could have, uh, who, who could have uh, imagined it? Uh, we have experience a remarkable political business. Church and culture change in Pavlova in 2018 and perhaps in ourselves too. Yes, George. So let's explore it now for Polza and ourselves to decide what we really sh think should be done. Uh, hopefully our great professor from Chicago University will lead the discussion. We need you, Alfred, to help us to explain what has happened and put it all into perspective, as we will contribute on things most important to us. Thank you, Mother. I will do my best. We are now in January 2020, seven years after January 2013, <clears throat> when I came for a short vacation with you to Pavlova, and Dad got me into seven years of struggle. Thank you, Dad. Our priority was to help Pavlova with crime control and prisoners who were passing years in inhumane conditions. We hoped to improve Pavlova's economic development with admission to the EU, but the admission is still pending. Ethics, yes. We proposed EBS as a way of changing the brain against crime, which at first seemed impossible. Like many impossible new things in modern science, it became reality five years later. Ethics became reality. Yes. And we helped the Pavlova medical profession to exceed. Our values were for a crime-free, healthy, peaceful life for all people in Pavlova, which we had was achieved. But the cost was security in an insecure world of feudal Al Baba invasion. We were saved by Obama and Mother too, so change is now possible. Now we have a strange negative lifestyle for the pro EBS who dominate with domination by the non-EBS. But we have still not yet decided what creates the quality of life here in this EBS heaven of a possible 130 years with multiple generations living on and on together, somehow. In our research, we began to discover with possible wonderful new brain potential for self-care and preventative health care and treatments for almost any sickness. When we know enough about it, we may well be able to do it. The potential the brain seems to be without limit, but we need security for survival in this ever-changing, competitive, aggressive world. Perhaps the long-term negative side effects of EBS have yet to be discovered. They may even be too great to allow EBS to be allowed to continue. What to do now with EBS? Potential for the future or to ban it? Yes. This is helping me with the three problems, crime, EU, and the future of EBS. EBS is currently only allowed in Pavlova. The rest of the world will definitely try to do research to validate it in relation to their own political business, church leaders, and their own medical regulations. The potential of EBS used for political oppression may be high, but like nuclear and chemical weapons, it could possibly, it could perhaps be controlled. So long as a bomb or a mother is still around, the potential for EBS use in health, social and economic benefits seems to be almost unlimited. Even if Pavlova abandons EBS, so many other countries will now explore and use it well and, and or badly. But what is the value of life in a UBS ethical heaven with nothing to do and nothing to worry about? Thank you. So let me briefly su summarize. Father always says, for every problem we always have seven alternatives, including gin and tonic and suicide, of course. But here I select two of them. I ban an EBS and ban it like nuclear chemical weapons. Continue to do research EBS for controlled modified applications for all health and, and crime problems. So now for a decision. What do we think about the suggest of Polza and Pavla authorities? I'm so curious to get your reaction. 
You made a great summary, Alfred. Perhaps you can now publish an EBS article and raise another million of research funding. Happiness is in the head, and so I feel that ethical EBS crime control and prisoner release is justified on humanitarian grounds, despite the short-term and long-term risks. I am very sceptical, but still in favour of further research for modified EBS applications. Why? Because if we don't do it, others will. China, Russia, US. The potential for abuse is great, but the potential for healing is even greater. The potential for political oppression can be hopefully overcome by the EU and UN. Russia and China will, with of course a little help from Obama. I cannot res resist the research potential for bringing a possible healthcare quick fix into the well, even though the pharmaceutical companies will hate me for doing it. If we want to change, we have to be able to laugh. So here is my last metaphor, which expresses my beliefs for the future on these key poster problems. Everybody on earth dies and goes to heaven. God comes and says, I want the men to make two lines. One line for the men that dominated their women on earth, and the other line for the men that were dominated by their women. Also, I want all the women to go with St. Peter, with that said and done, the next time God looked, the women are gone and there are two lines. The line of the men that were dominated by the women was 100 miles long, and in the line of the men that dominated their women, there was only one man. <clears throat> God got mad and said, you men should be ashamed of yourselves. I created you in my imagine, in, in, I created you in my image, and you were all whipped by your mates. Look at the only one of my sons that stood up and made me proud. Learn from him. Tell them, my son, how did you manage to be the only one in this line? And the man replied, I don't know. My wife told me to stand here. So the answer is WSM. Perhaps our EBS development is a wonderful opportunity for women to take over Pavlova and in international politics bring peace, not conflict, to the world. Mother, you have at last convinced me. WSM. Women are superior to men. I am now convinced that the continuing EBS will amaze the results and impossible new problems to suddenly challenge us. Perhaps only women can manage them. Oh, I'm so pleased to know that Timo and his mother and family are all well again, safe and happy. With the crime-free Pavlova and women in control at last, as helped by us, admissions to the EU will come. I'm worried by the new problems to be faced by the continuing with, 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 with UBS. Yes, George, and so our new family motto will now be, it's impossible, so the women will do it anyway. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. I will take your advice with women to bring peace to Pavlova. You are all Pavlova citizens now. So on we go together. And here is the latest news. Unconfirmed reports that Pavlova has now been admitted to the European Union. Unconfirmed report uh, that the Pavlova government is being very gently taken over by women. Unconfirmed report that Obama gently suggested to Hollande and Cameron that Pavlova must now be admitted to the EU. Unconfirmed reports that EBS research will continue worldwide with UN control of results and allowed applications. Unconfirmed report that Mrs Obama has decided to stand to be the next president of the USA. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. That'll be £42. Pounds. <laughs>